We wanted to dice it. YouTube? Hello, YouTube. We have one of the best investments we've ever made in our entire lives. So we thought we would share it with you. And this was not given to us. A lot of no. stuff were given to us, but we were just doing our regular lap around Target. We've been on the market for a bit. We, we wanted a Dyson originally. We wanted a Dyson. Well, she decided, she was like... I convinced you. She's like, let's get one of those robot vacuums. And I was like, you know what? Because I'm like a clean freak, she's a clean freak, but I like to get all the nooks and crannies. So we sat in the aisle for a long, for a long time while I watched it, YouTube yeah. tutorials. I looked up stuff on Google, reviews, and I still was not convinced. He was also concerned because like in our apartment, there's like, what would you call them? Like, not levels, but there's like little Yeah, like little step ups like this high. So, yeah, so I was like, the, the robot's literally just gonna bounce off of them and it's not gonna get into all the rooms, but it does. That was your biggest concern, I'd say. And we have two dogs, and so their hair is literally everywhere, so we really like the vacuum as often as yeah. possible, but don't like the vacuum. That yeah, it's, it just takes up a lot of time, so we decided to go with the d -box. We were also looking at, what's the other one? The iRobot? I iRobot? Yeah. yeah. We decided the D-Box was like $100 cheaper, More but affordable. honestly, it is probably the best thing we've ever bought because we run it like every day every we've, other day. We've done it every day since and we got it. you just like hit it and forget it. And just well, another thing stuff. we were also concerned about was that Ollie was gonna be a monster and like, cause every time we used to vacuum before, she'd attack the vacuum, mm -hmm. but we can literally have it going and she doesn't even really yeah, care she about like it. Yeah, she steps around it. It's like a, yeah, she doesn't even care. So it's definitely dog friendly, mm -hmm. which it mentions on their box, so. Yeah, it this comes with a remote, but it does a lot of different things. So it has these brushes on the side, um, and then obviously the little vacuum pulley thing right there. And on the back, this is like where it picks up all the crap. I mean, occasionally you have to kind of like clean out the bristles, like my hair gets caught in it, mm -hmm. and their hair gets caught in it. So you should probably clean it out every time you yeah, do it. Yeah, just, just like a normal vacuum. Yeah. And honestly, I've only cleaned her hair out of like the bristle bristles like once, and we've had it for like over a week. Almost a week. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it comes with a remote, and it does like a bunch of different features. Like you can have it just auto and just randomly go everywhere, and it actually is efficient. That was my number one concern. I was like, it's literally gonna hit a couple random paths, and it's gonna miss a lot of the floor. But if you let it run for like 20 minutes, it basically covers everything in every room. Mm -hmm. And it also edges, there's like a button for it to just follow along the edges only. It also goes pretty much under everything. It goes under our couch, mm -hmm. under like the bookcases, and just it's insane. It goes everywhere, under the bed. It's been an amazing buy for sure. Oh yeah, and then um, it connects to Wi-Fi. Like I have an app on my phone that I can just oh, yeah. Yeah, turn yeah. it on and control it through the app. Um, and it also has like a go home feature. So it goes right back on that charger. Yep, so like when, when you think it's like finished, you just press the go home feature and it'll just go and find its way back and go right onto the charger without you having to put it there. Sometimes it takes like a second for it's it to like, find its home. It? We uh, could have it in a tricky spot too. Could yeah, we have, have it. it. We have it like in a corner and it, it uh, has a laser or something right here and it reads the laser on its like home charger. And then once it connects to that, then it goes right to it. So it kind of bounces around until it finds it, but it's not even a huge problem. It bounces around like for two right. minutes maybe before it finds its home. Um, but super easy to yeah. use, really easy. Um, we're gonna show you it kind of going around our house and um, we definitely recommend it. And like we said, we were not given this d -bot. We actually were like on the market for a vacuum and we mm -hmm. found it, we were skeptical and we love it. So if you're looking to buy a vacuum and not have to vacuum and just have a clean house, this is definitely the way to go. And the price is amazing. Yeah, it was like 199 yeah. and it's crazy because like, the biggest problem for us weekly is like, oh, we need a vacuum because we have dog hair. And the it's cord. Just, and yeah, it's just... and th that's why I was wanting to get a Dyson because it's cordless, so it seemed like it would be a little easier to just grab it off the wall and vacuum. But now, like, we literally don't have to vacuum anymore. It saves us a ton of time. There's never hair stuck to the bottom of our feet anymore. No more rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. Who's going to vacuum? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. But um, here, we'll show you it working on the house. Yeah. 
Oh, and one more little feature that we do not have stairs in our house, but if you do have stairs or like a drop off, this uh, sonar thing basically picks up if there's an edge, so it's not gonna go flying off of your stairs or anything like that. All right, so Kenny has the app open on his phone right now, and we are going to control that deep. So you just press this if you want it to just randomly go. And then we want it to do, do we want to auto or do, do we want it to edge? Let's edge a little bit. Sure, let's edge. Somehow it goes under stuff. So edge right here. And Ollie's curious on it, but she doesn't attack it or anything. Always at first. So now she's going to kind of take a wide turn around Ollie. Because <laughs> Ollie's in the way. Find the edge. There we go. Little tap. And here it goes. We've named ours Max. What was the reason behind that, Ken? I don't know. Because of Max Clean. <laughs> so now that you can see that it efficiently goes on all the edges, I can stop it. And I can actually just control it. Like say there's a mess like right there. But like, this is what I was con concerned of because we have like these big humps right here. Check this out. Just monster trucks right over it. Then over on the carpet. It's great on carpet too. <laughs> but now I'll just press auto. I'll show you guys what that does. Now I'm just randomly cleaning. So I know a lot of you guys are thinking that like, what about in the corner? It didn't get there. It literally bounces all over the place in like 20 minutes and it gets basically every square inch. It's crazy. And like, I think I followed it around for like 30 minutes probably when we first got it. Cause I wanted to make sure it was going to get all those little hard reach areas. And it does. So say I drop something right here and I just wanted to like clean this general area. There's one called spot right here. And you just hit that and it'll just kind of go around and get bigger and bigger. So for the last thing, you can see the chargers over there. So that should read to go home. So I'm just gonna press the home button. Check this out. So we kind of ran it all morning, so it could be crazy in here. Gross. Isn't that crazy? And we just dump it in the trash and we're done. So go out and buy your D-Bot today. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, comment below. Anything else you'd like to see us do. Until next time, we're gonna go D-Bot this house. And D-Bot real quick. If you want to send us more crazier vacuums that you guys have, we'll do reviews on those too. <laughs>